There are some dreams that can seem very real, so real that some sensations go beyond the realm of the subconscious and become physical or emotional. Who hasn't dreamt of falling from a building and woke up jumping in bed, right? Other times we go through such terrible situations in our dreams that we wake up angry, sad, or afraid. However, soon after, we realize that it wasn't true, and then we calm down. And amazingly, the Bible speaks about this in the book of Isaiah, chapter 29. Let's see what the prophet said. We'll be as it is with a dream, with a vision in the night, as when a hungry man dreams that he is eating, but he awakens and his hunger remains. As when a thirsty man dreams that he is drinking, but he awakens faint with his thirst unquenched. In other words, you can dream of eating or drinking, but when you wake up, your stomach is still empty. That's the reality of dreams. It may have seemed real, but it wasn't. And even though they are legitimate experiences for the subconscious, all the experiences we go through while we sleep are not true. In light of all this, the question arises, can God speak to us through dreams? Yes, He can. Let's see what is written in the book of Job, chapter 33. For God does speak now one way, now another, though no one perceives it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on people as they slumber in their beds, He may speak in their ears and terrify them with warnings, to turn them from wrongdoing and keep them from pride, to preserve them from the pit, their lives from perishing by the sword. Look at this, brothers and sisters. This single passage from the Bible already proves to us that the Lord can indeed communicate with His children through dreams. And more than that, there are several reasons why God chooses to reveal Himself to us while we sleep. And it is precisely about this subject that we will discuss in today's video. But before we begin, I want to ask you to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified by YouTube whenever I upload a new video. All right, so let's get started. Through the prophet Joel, the Lord said the following, Afterward I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. This means that dreams are not always just dreams, and there may indeed be a message from the Lord in them. And you may be thinking now, But pastor, why does God need to speak to me while I'm asleep? It would be much easier if He revealed Himself to me while I'm awake. Well, there are four main reasons why the Lord speaks to you through dreams, and not while you are conscious. That's what I'm going to present to you here. It can be very revealing. The first reason is that God uses dreams to open our spiritual eyes. The truth is that we are not always available to hear the voice of God. Even the problems, struggles, and many daily obligations can cause us to close our eyes and not see what the Holy Spirit expects from us. And although the Lord can speak to us while we set aside a few minutes of the day to pray, He may prefer to reveal Himself to us while we are asleep. Because in that moment of rest, He knows that nothing can interrupt it. But we must be prepared when that happens. Therefore, whenever you go to sleep, pray. Ask the Lord to give you the discernment and wisdom necessary to understand everything He wants to show you while you sleep. Amen. The second reason is that God uses dreams to give us instructions. In that same passage from Job that we read at the beginning of this video, it is written that God can give us warnings through dreams to prevent man from making wrong choices, to deliver him from pride, and to save his soul from death. This shows that God not only opens our eyes, but also gives us instructions through our dreams. He points out the wrong decisions we are about to make, guides us on how to overcome life circumstances, and shows us the path we should take for everything to go well and for us to walk according to His will. If we search the Bible, we will see that many men and women of God made important decisions that changed the course of their lives and the course of history after hearing what the Lord had commanded them while they slept. And this can also happen to you. Amen. You know that answer you've been waiting for? It may come in the midst of a dream, so stay very attentive, all right? Attentive. The third reason is that God uses dreams to break down our self-defense. The first thing we do when someone points out something about us that we don't like or disagree with is to defend ourselves. The same thing happens when God wants us to understand something that may be painful for us at some point. 
While we are awake and confronted with a wrong attitude we are taking, our brain activates a self-defense system that functions like a wall, ready to defend us from any kind of attack. However, when we are asleep, we lose that awareness. Our subconscious mind takes control and it doesn't have the ability to shield us. That's when the Lord begins to work. He takes advantage of our deactivated self-defense system to make us understand the things we need to correct in our lives, but can't see. From that point on, we start to be healed and restored by the Lord, and we reconcile with Him. Amen. The fourth reason is that God uses dreams to overcome our pride. The Bible tells us that pride comes before destruction and that God opposes the proud. This is because pride covers the sinful intentions of our hearts. When we hide behind pride, it becomes much easier for the devil to convince us that we don't need God, that we are in control of our own lives, and that we can do whatever we want with them. The enemy then deceives us, leads us into temptation, and drives us away from the presence of the Lord. And when that happens, it becomes nearly impossible to perceive what the Father wants to show us. However, when we are asleep, all the pride that fills our hearts loses its power. And even though we may be far from God, the battle between good and evil in our spiritual life can be revealed to us during sleep so that we no longer let sin dominate our hearts. Amen. So, to conclude this video, I want to share something very important with you. Even though God can use dreams to speak to our hearts, guide our steps, and free us from the clutches of sin, it is crucial that we exercise caution and not become dependent on our dreams. This is because we may start to believe that everything our mind creates comes from God, and that is not true. You must be able to discern whether your dream is from God or from your own flesh, as false revelations can arise from our mind's attempt to steer us away from God's principles. Therefore, the best thing you can do after having a dream is to pray about it. And if you realize that it doesn't come from God and it's robbing your peace, simply reject that dream, as it won't bring edification. Now, if the Lord is truly speaking to you through dreams, pay close attention to what He is saying for it will make all the difference in your life. It is crucial that you and I know that we should obey the Lord in everything He asks of us, for He knows what is best for us and sees a future that we do not. Amen. I hope you have enjoyed this message and I ask that you share it with your friends and family. Send it to WhatsApp groups and on Facebook. I also look forward to seeing you in the next video. May God bless you.